morning guys. It is 9.30 a.m. and Taylor is kindly helping me close my suitcase, which is not hard to close because I'm only gone for a day. This is like the smallest amount I've packed ever in my life. Today I am off to Chicago. I know we had like one LA vlog and then I'm gone again. That's gonna be the same for the rest of the month, but we are about to head out. I made some deviled eggs to go for breakfast because hungry and I have to go to the airport. So yeah, you ready, babe? Let's go. All right, so we've made it into the car and we are heading to LAX. We are going, I don't, do, do you know what terminal I'm going to I am going on this trip solo. Taylor's not coming, sadly. Oh no. I'm going on this trip with my manager who I will day just. Day trip. Yeah, literally a day trip to Chicago. It's 10 hours of flying total. Or I guess like nine, really. It's like four and a half hours to get there. And I'm just there tomorrow for an event that I was invited to and they are flying me out. So that's what's happening. It's a really, really quick trip and then we're gonna be back here and then we're gonna go away again. Busy, busy month. I was not joking when I said it was gonna be busy. So I have my food to go. It just saves time instead of like sitting and eating at home. You may as well eat it in the car and be on the way. This is my favorite breakfast. It's just like eggs with avocado and the yolk mixed together and then like guacamole seasoning. <laughs> I mean like yum. Fun little tip hack, whatever, if you live in LA or you are having to go to LAX and fly out of it. What we do that really saves a lot of time because LAX is a disaster and it takes, like even honestly, once you get to the airport, it can take up to half an hour to get to your terminal just if you're going to the departing flights. So we always go to arrivals because there's no waits and we go to the right terminal and then you just go up the escalator to the top floor. So easy and then it just speeds the process up so much. Long time to talk. It is now like 8.30 or something. Let me, probably later. Oh no, it's 8.17, it's earlier. I officially made it to my room. There was a little bit of a complication with the rooms, but they offered us a drink on the house for the the inconvenience which always makes things better but i am here in chicago oh my god i'm so excited to be in chicago though like oh, this is a comfy bed this is also a really nice room i'll show you guys in a second but i'm like sad that i'm only here for tomorrow that is so sad but i'm gonna definitely make the most out of my time tomorrow i'm going to wake up early explore the city and see what i can do i definitely want to go to goddess and the baker which is a place that i went when i was here with my parents it was delicious i think there's one like a mile away i'll probably walk there for lunch or something but we are here i'll do a little room tour here is my front door look how cool this carpet is too like it's just fun and then you walk in and to the right is the bathroom which is so aesthetically pleasing like this is just so nice look at the marble shower the tile is like my favorite this is so cool i would want this like if i had a house i would want this as my my bathroom it's just cool in here and then you go back out here is the room look at this cool accent wall it's like all what is this tiled yeah so sick i have two beds i only need one i have this cute little desk in the middle which is good i'll put like my laptop here what is this is this like a closet i haven't inspected this Ooh. oh yes i'm gonna put a robe on um coffee station is this like an I think this is an espresso machine. And then a full length mirror, which is great. So it's 8.15 now. I have to do one thing quickly for a brand and then I'll either Postmates or see what's around the hotel. I, I don't know, but I am hungry. So I'm gonna have to figure that out ASAP. I'm gonna do my work and then we'll figure it out together. Okay, it is 8.43. I just finished my work and I saw that there's a Chick-fil-A 0.3 of a mile away from here. Do I go? I mean, I think yes. Since I have such limited time here, I actually want to go out and just like walk the streets. I think I'm going to do it. Also, let me show you the view out my window. It is so nice. Oh my God. I love Chicago. In this way, so pretty. Got my jeans on. Oh my God. Wait, I forgot my room key. This is very important. Okay. Now we're going. Made it out and I think I'm almost at Chick-fil-A. It's actually super weird exploring a city that you really don't know at all by yourself. But we're making it happen, you know? This is how you learn, how you grow. <laughs> yes. We got the goods. And I'm back. Nice first little outing in Chicago. It was a very quick one, obviously. Very humid out there. But I got my meal. I got a spicy deluxe sandwich with no pickles, a small fry, and a small sweet tea. Now I'm going to FaceTime Taylor really quick. He's with Matt. I just want to chat with them a bit. Like, okay, great. And so then 
Hi. It's now 11.45. I have finished my Chick-fil-A. I am currently wearing this robe because I realized I forgot pajamas. Love that. But I'm gonna get ready for bed now. I'm actually getting tired even though it's a two hour time change and 11.30 here is really only 9.30 in LA. But I am getting tired, which is good. So I'm just going to take off like my mask. I don't even think I'm wearing makeup, just mascara. So I don't really have to do much. I'm gonna brush my teeth, pick up my contacts, put my glasses on, do the huge. morning <laughs> it is currently 9 48 which is actually like 7 48 in the morning in la so it's early so this morning i have breakfast with the agency that sent me here and i have the entire day to do really whatever i want here which is pretty awesome i don't know if i said i think i said but i'm here with my manager so if she finishes like her work for the day she's gonna come out with me if not i'm just gonna go explore chicago on my own which i'm fine with so i'm meeting them down in the lobby in 10 minutes but we're just doing a little quick face honestly makeup takes me like five to ten minutes in the morning it's really quick i try not to spend so much time doing it especially when i'm traveling because i feel like it's just like a waste of the day we got eight minutes can she do it yes make that your answer to everything and you'll be fine i got the travel dry shampoo very important Woo! don't you love when you're a brunette and your hair turns gray what I want to know is why they don't have the dark haired version in uh, the travel size. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing this shirt from Show Me Your Moo Moo and then these jeans from Zara. I don't really know what shoes I'm going to wear. Probably sneakers, though I wish I had like some kind of booty. All right, we are ready and I'm going to meet Caroline down in the lobby. She's having coffee. I'm probably going to get a coffee because I'm going to need it for the full day I'm about to have. But we're heading out. Back from breakfast. It is 10.54. Didn't vlog down there because... It was like, it's just not appropriate. But I got an egg white omelet with goat cheese, broccoli, and avocado. It was delicious. Now I'm really full. I got a coffee. I'm only in my room for another hour. Caroline is finishing up some work. And then we're going to meet up at noon. And we're going to go explore. So I'm going to get some work done in the room as well. May as well make use of my time. Made a quick little outfit change. Same kind of concept. The white with the blue jeans. But, but this is like more cash, I think. Heading out to meet Caroline in the lobby. And then we're going to go explore. These elevators are so funny. Like you have to put in exactly what what floor you're going to and then it tells you what elevator to wait in front of. Okay, we've made it out. Here's Caroline. We are out going to, um, well, we're trying to find the park. So we're on our way. We have GPS. We made it to the Bean. Look how nice. I love this whole park. It's like, ugh, I love. We just took some pictures. Now we're gonna roam. Oh, that's fun. It's like a legit concert happening. <laughs> Okay, so Caroline's hungry again. And we are going to Goddess and the Baker because it's the cutest cafe ever. I have been the navigation girl for this and I'm killing it. I think it's at the corner here. We did it. We have a liquid gold glitter latte. We may try it out of curiosity, but we don't know what's inside. We got a matcha latte, which is now done. We made it to a fountain. We're still exploring, just enjoying the day. It's really hot though, and I can feel sweat dripping down my back. It's really cute. We have been exploring. We made it to the river walk. So cute and thankfully shaded because it is so hot. But we're heading back to the hotel. This is so cute. Little Hawaii bar. This is so pretty. Ugh. My God. <laughs> you hear that? They're practicing for this like air and boat show, I think. I don't really know. Caroline was telling me about it, but back in the room, it is 3 10 p.m. Man, it was so hot and sweaty out there. Like my hair is still drying from being out there. We did lots of exploring. We walked by the water. We went pretty much everywhere I wanted to go. I don't know how much I vlogged. It was hard to vlog because we were like talking the whole time, but it was really fun. We actually saw um, Spencer from Pretty Little Liars. She was just like casually walking around. She had no makeup on, so she didn't look exactly the same as she does in the show, but you could tell it was her. Caroline saw her pass and then she told me that she saw her so we like walked back to go creep but now we're back and we're meeting up for the event at 4 30 so that's like an hour and a bit so i'm just gonna relax and get some work done on my computer taylor's calling okay it's so loud i wonder if i can see it oh my god wait i can't see it but i can hear it what 
You guys can definitely hear that, right? I'm just curious as to where it is. Anyways, this is a much better work spot than, I, than the bed, I think. Get a cute little view. What a concept. Love it. Oh, oh my god. It's like scaring me. <laughs> 4.15, meeting everyone in 15 minutes, so I'm gonna fix up my face a little bit. And also, like, so weird, someone just came into my room from the hotel. They came in, they were knocking, and then I was like, hello, and then still came into my room. And he was like, do you have The Sims 3 on your computer? And I was like, yes. And he was like, okay, would you like your room to be cleaned? And I was like, sure. I'm just, like, confused. Okay, right, let's do my wing. We'll bronze up a little more. So the event starts, I think, at, like, 6.00. Well, we're getting there at five to take photos before people get there. We're going with the brand, so that's like not a weird thing. Get into the event. We have a drink. It's so cute! So we're here. So cute. It's called the Shore Club, and it's in the pool. There's like a whole area. They have the outside with the cabanas, and then a covered area. But it's like right on the beach. So we're chilling. <laughs> this coconut drink, it's so good. The sun is going down. Just made it back to the hotel. It was such a fun event and so many fun people that I got to meet while I was here. Honestly, so sad to be getting on a plane tomorrow. I just cannot believe it, but I am hungry. So I'm gonna go out and get some food. It's nine o'clock now, so it's a little bit later and my flight's at 12 tomorrow, but the airport is an hour away, so. It's gonna be a morning, but then I'm back in LA by 2.30 in the afternoon and then I have another trip in like four days This is like the craziest month ever next morning and I'm about to head out and go to the airport. Put this trip ever, one vlog. Here we are and it's back to being gray and cloudy out again, which it was supposed to be yesterday. It really just miraculously turned out to be an amazing day. But yeah, I'm about to head. Oh, it, I think it's raining. It is currently 9.30 in the morning, 7.30 LA time. Turns out it is raining as you can see the little mini drops on the ground. It's not bad, obviously, just a little drizzle. Still looks nice out. Called my Uber, we are waiting. I wish I had more time this morning because then I would go to Goddess and the Baker and get like a coffee and like a little to-go snack, you know? Made it to the airport, got through, and now I'm gonna look for food. If there's a Starbucks, I'll probably just get like one of those wraps. Only option was this pasta salad, which sounds good, but it just feels really early to have a pasta salad. And then I got a pineapple black tea, and so we got like half an hour until we board. And we're back. Thanks for picking me up. Mm -hmm. a little Uber. Mwah. Also, look at my eyes. Like, I, they're, ooh, bags are not cute today. We've done it. Flight was okay. It was pretty boring. I watched Meet the Fockers, which is always entertaining. Is there, is there a Meet the Fockers too? Yeah. Oh, now I want to watch that. Home sweet home. We're back. You're back. Time for food. Just posted a main channel video and I'm going to do a little unboxing. I only have one thing right now. I know there's another package downstairs, but I have to go get it. But this is from Glam Glow. I'm like tired, guys. I'm probably gonna end this vlog soon. <laughs> Liquid charcoal clarifying oil. Charcoal formula transforms the black to clear. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's totally black. Wow, I'm intrigued. And then I got a package while I was away that Taylor unboxed for me <laughs> over FaceTime and we have this cute, this is such a cute like cosmetics case. This is from It Cosmetics. We got lots of foundations in here. All of the shades. This is their new CC creams. This is a matte oil free and SPF 40. Thank you so much It Cosmetics and Glam Glow. I'm gonna go downstairs right now and check for the other package that I was expecting. Okay, we went downstairs to get the package and Taylor got one too. So we're doing <laughs> unboxing with TNT. Taylor got a suit. Mine is from Shop Redone. This is just a sample one of like, hey, try it on. We got two suits. So I got a couple of pairs of denim, this pair of shorts. I have a pair just like them. It's from them, but they got too big on me. So we got a smaller pair. It sucks. Oh! Let's see the black tux. Dress socks. Then we have a pair of jeans. Cute, love. Oh, look at your tie. And then they sent some shirts. This is a bodysuit. Cute. But this shirt is from Shop Redone. It's just like the comfiest white tee. Easy come, easy go. That's cute. And then we have sweater. 
cropped little sweater. Oh my god, this is fun. Thank you so much to Shop Redone. I'm gonna have a link down below to check them out. Look at those shoes. Oh! Oh, look at that. It is so much later. What's new? It is 7.45 and I've been on the couch. I decided to take a chill day after I posted my video. I'm just, I'm tired today. Like I can feel my face like just closing in. You know that tired feeling where you just like, <laughs> that's me right now. So I made myself like a little miniature amount of coffee just to get my body going. Cause I'm going to meet up with Shelby. She's going to come downtown and we're going to go to Rosa. So we're going to get some guac and like a margarita. It's Friday night, so. Kind of fun. I, gotta, I feel like I'm at like at a weird state of exhaustion. Oh, I have a, oh my God. I almost totally forgot about this. Okay, I should have started with this, but we're gonna start with it now. I have a story time. It started yesterday. I was in the hotel room. You guys saw, I was like sitting on the ledge. This man just walked into my room after I said, so half an hour later is when I was leaving for the event. I didn't really think too much about it at the time. I was like, that was really weird. And I told my mom, but I just kind of like went on with the day. And then, so I left the room half an hour later and he was waiting outside of my room just standing there like with his little earpiece it's like he was like waiting for me to leave and then he was gonna go creep around i don't i don't know and then we went to the event and everything was fine i didn't even think about it i went to go get food as soon as i got back and then i came back in the room and once i was getting ready for bed and like taking off my makeup and whatever i noticed that's the doorbell oh my god wait no it's just taylor Hey, I was just telling my story time about what happened in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Right, Taylor was just here bringing my fob back so that I can leave my apartment. But I'm going to continue with the story time now. So I got back and I was getting ready for bed. And I noticed all these little, like, like pubes <laughs> in my sink. I mean, I don't know if they were actually, like, pubic hair. There were just, like, four little hairs. Like, little black hairs that were curly and, like... I just... That's not my hair. And any other time I've ever gotten my hotel room cleaned, like, I feel like... That's never happened. Like you don't usually find their hair in your sink because they just cleaned it. Why would they leave hair in your sink? So I was like, this is gross. And I just washed it away. I should have taken a photo of it, but I, I just thought like this is really weird. Then this morning when I was getting up and getting ready to leave, I noticed someone had pushed a Q-tip under my door. And it definitely wasn't there last night because I would have seen it when I was getting ready for bed. It was like a little brushy kind of thing that was under the door. So like someone actually had to like push it instead of it getting like accidentally rolling into the room. Like it wouldn't, that wouldn't have happened. Someone physically had to go to my door and like push a Q-tip under it. And I know it definitely isn't like something that fell out of my bag because I didn't bring any Q-tips with me for the day that I was gone. There was, there's just like no explanation except for somebody else standing in front of my door and pushing a Q-tip under it. So that's my little story time of the weird thing that happened in Chicago. Besides that, it was a really good time. I don't know if you have any thoughts on how that might have happened or why in like the Sims comment, let me know. Okay, I'm with Shelby. We Hi. have our pomegranate margaritas. Cheers. <laughs> I'm excited. Then we ordered guac and we have salsa. It's a good time. It's 11.30. I just got into bed. I'm so happy. It's been a really long day. Happy I went and saw Shelby. It was really fun. But now I'm crashing. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the Chicago vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one.